we really were concerned we'd never have a, a football club. It's like a dream. A whole new generation is going to grow up with this new era. It feels like coming home. Now's the start of a, a new dawn. It's been a 146-year journey, but today the High Court called an end to the existence of Macclesfield Town Football Club. To hear those words, Macclesfield Town is being wound up, it was devastating. I think we all knew it was heading that way, but it still hit hard and it was horrible. We didn't have any inkling of any sort of saviour at the time, it was just, that's it. Right, so yeah. this is my room. This is all the, all the shirts that I've got. Like this, this shirt is right here. This is part, the, the title winning shirt from the 1718 season. Looks good, doesn't it? This is a small town. It doesn't have much to occupy the youth, the young people. So the football club is an integral community part. When it was going under, it was just, what can this town be without Macclesfield Town Football Club? You know, and then along came the new regime and he's a local boy and he seems genuine and, and Robbie Savage is just totally passionate. It was incredibly exciting to hear that a kind of a, a local lad had bought the club, to hear that Robbie Savage was getting involved. I was like, oh wow, that's an amazing thing to hear. Between them, they've got this idea, right, we're going to have this Phoenix club. So Mac FC was born and over the last six, seven, eight months, you see how the infrastructure has changed. The money that's gone into it is phenomenal. I'm not overly keen on people saying you've got your club back because we haven't got our club back. We've got Phoenix Club that started many divisions below where we were when it went wrong. The facilities have improved so much has been huge. They've just shown love and care for what we have. So I've been completely won over by it. It can only be a positive thing for the club. That's what we are here at Macclesfield, we're a football family. And the, and the family has had its little bit of an argument and we've come back together again. Jimbo! My name's James Gooden, everybody calls me Big Jim. I just work here because I like working for the club. It's more about like mental health than anything else because it gets me out, I live on my own. It got made redundant like eight years ago and then that's why I come working here because I was just walk, watching daytime television wasn't for me. We love him to bits. That's what it's about, isn't it? That is what this club's about. Yeah, we love him. Robbie Savage coming in, it's good for the profile of the club. Sometimes I get a little irritated with him. People call it passion, whereas when you're a director of football of a club, you need to control yourself. Bandy! Bandy! Tell him to sit in the middle of the park. He's on the left wing. To coin a bit of a phrase, it's not the Robbie Savage show. This is Macclesfield FC. He's putting the passion in because he's fully invested. So I, I yeah. I love it. And the passion now is just being ignited so much, not just in me and my friends who, and a lot of them haven't been coming. Now these people are like, can't wait to come back. There's a plan there now, and there's something in place that makes me think, do you know what, even if it's shortish term, that this club is in safe hands. We do have our club back. The things that were promised are happening. He was true to his word. That's the important part. And it's making this club a hub of the community again, and getting that feel-good factor back at the club, which, which is so important to us, really. It's just great to be back in the world of football again. It's just going to be a great journey.